Yo, what's going on guys? It's DJ Rick Webb and we're back again with another gig log. That's right, another gig log. We're heading back out to Friends Farm. As you guys know, last weekend, Kalen was DJing a wedding there. I'm DJing a wedding there. This weekend, we're gonna be doing a lot of gigs out there. As I've mentioned in the past, we are on as basically one of the two main DJ companies at that venue. So we do a lot of weddings out there. So we're heading back out there. We're doing ceremony, we're doing reception, we're doing uplighting, and we're doing a monogram. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be cool. So let's head on down to the garage. Let's load up all the gear. I'm gonna eat some food, you won't see that, and then let's get on the road. As you guys can see behind me, this place is getting like ridiculously packed, which means one thing, I need to buy more shelving and organize better. But we are doing a lot of stuff today, but all of it will fit in the Tacoma, otherwise known as the Beast. So yeah, no trailer. Let's get started on the load. And I really need to go get some sun. I don't know if that was on footage or not, but this whole thing, this was up here, fell which then hit this table, which then this hit. So, I don't know. Oh my God, did it break my camera too? Alrighty guys, all loaded up. The tailgate is full. Yes, we are using the Avantes today. And this is how much is in the back seat. Again, not much. Still got room for a passenger. And uh, that's where my like personal bags are gonna go. So plenty of room. Let's get on the road and let's get out to Friends Farm and get this ceremony, reception, uplighting, monogram all set up. As you can tell, this venue is not cut out for every single ordinary DJ out there. You kind of need a 4x4 to be able to get down in here. Alright, it's somewhat raining right now, but uh, let's get loaded in. Alright, it is currently 1.20. Ceremony prelude music starts at 3.30. So the first thing on the list is to go set up the ceremony rig, then set up the reception rig. Both of them should be fairly quick. It should only take me about 45 minutes total to set it up. But you always want to set up your ceremony rig first because you can always tweak your reception setup like during the transition between ceremony and reception. It's not that big of a deal if you're not playing music. Ceremony is by far at weddings. If you're doing ceremony audio and microphones is the most important thing at the wedding other than the first dance and that sort of stuff. So the time in between, if you're not playing music, if you're hurrying up, set up something, you ran behind, some you had a sound issue at the ceremony rig, it's better to set up ceremony first. Sometimes you've probably seen me do reception first, then ceremony. It really just depends for me. Personally, I'm comfortable and feel comfortable with my gear that I can set it up in time to do the ceremony. But personally, you should always do ceremony first. It's just sometimes I choose not to. Right now we're pretty much at the mercy of the weather and the rain is actually picking up right now so I'm not moving my speaker out to where it normally goes yet. I am going to run my XLR cable over there just in case but for now the speaker is going to stay right here. Probably going to hook it up literally right behind here underneath of this like area where it's going to be covered because if this rain is going to keep up. I'm not sure if we're even going to do it out here in the open area where it's raining. It's not ideal but um. We're gonna have to make it work. Hopefully the rain clears up here in the next two hours. Alrighty guys, just did a little bit of a goof around session. Mixing for the last like 10 minutes there, making sure everything's good to go with the SZ. Man, every time you jump behind the decks, man, it's an amazing feeling. Anyways. Uh, I gotta move on to the monograms, so I want to show you guys how I do monograms now with the Epson projector. Right here is my Epson projector upside down so I can show you guys how it works. If you guys want to know, this is an Epson model H474A. Attached to it is this plate. So this plate right here bolts on. This is a universal plate 
which allows you to connect it to this universal tripod adapter. This just screws in right here. And then all we do is we put this on top of our gravity stand and then we turn it on and we're good to go. If you guys are interested in picking this up, it's from Colorado Sound and Light. I'll leave a link down below as well as you can use promo code Rick and save yourself some money if you're interested in that. The way we do monograms is we put a PNG file that is a transparent background with a white logo on a little thumb drive like this one right here. And all we do is we plug this thumb drive into the back of the projector right here. Then all we do when we boot it up is we select that file and uh, you're good to go. That's all you have to do. I do not actually create my monograms. I actually purchase them. I go through projectorgram.com. So I'll leave a link to them down below. They don't sponsor me or anything, but I do like projectorgram.com because they have a secondary website that just shows all the designs that they have available, both animated monograms and normal monograms. So you send your client that link to that page and it doesn't show prices or anything like that. It just shows all the monograms, all the categories, and they can play around with it and see what monograms they want. They send me the name of the thing. I plug it into my order form on the actual projectorgram.com site and uh, I order my monogram. It takes about two to three days to get your monogram. They send you like five different files, so different sizes. So you got a small one, medium, large, and that's good because when you're per using a projector, you gotta project long distances and short distances. Yes, a projector has zoom, but it's also nice to have varying sizes of actual files so that you can have high quality when it's zoomed in and zoomed out. So I'm going to put the mount on here and we're gonna put it up on the gravity stand and we're gonna shoot off the monogram. One thing I didn't point out is there's actually a lever back here. You just loosen this lever and it allows you to tilt this in any sort of way and then you just tighten down the lever and it stays right where it needs to be. And then for the gravity stand, you just obviously unscrew it and you lift it up. Very simple. Alrighty, and as you can see, all of the up lighting is done. They wanted red, and wow, look at that monogram. Look at that. So, we're all done. We're all set. And one thing I gotta say, these elements, dude, the, the, I should have not bought these first because it makes life way too easy, way too easy. I don't wanna go back to normal, wired pars ever again these things are so easy and with the wireless dmx it's so nice so let's take you on a quick walkthrough of all the equipment that we're using i do believe we're going to be moving the ceremony up here which is going to be take a little bit of tweaking on my end but we'll make it work starting with the monogram we got the epson projector up top with the colorado sound and light adapter on the gravity stand then around the outside of the room we have 10 element hexes doing a nice red up lighting. There is our monogram. Speakers today are two Avante A15s, sitting on top of Rockville. Yes, Rockville. They're, uh, they're basically spring assist speaker stands with all black on stage stands. Cabling management, cabling management, same thing over here, the one fan. Then we have the Pioneer DDJ SZ in the Pro X coffin, all blacked out with a DBX drive rack PA2, GTD audio wireless mics down below, and our laptop arm, which is sitting with my HP Spectra X15T beast of a laptop. On the DMX side, we have a Chave Show Express Plus box hooked up to an American DJ Wi Fly EXR as well as donor. The donors are actually just hooked into here and this one par. Most of the DMXing is happening wirelessly via the Wi Fly to the ADJ hex bars. And then Chave Show Express running on the HP Spectra X13 inch laptop as well as Virtual DJ for auto mixing. So, a slight change of plans. We're running the ceremony in here right now, but. The bride really wants to do it out there, so if there's like a window in the rain, I got like five minutes to get all this set up over there. I already got the, the speaker set up over there. All I gotta do is just basically grab this, plug it in, and go. So, it might get interesting. We're gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses. The joyous union of two people whose time Introductions, everything went great. I didn't film introductions. I am super mad about that. 
because I think I knocked it out of the park. I did a really good job for once. But anyways, it was kind of weird. We started eating beforehand because the bride and groom didn't want them, like the guests, to not be eating. So they were eating and we had to stop in the middle of like serving food. And then we did all the the introductions first day and it's father, daughter, mother, son, cake cutting. And now we're back eating more food. So it's like a hurry up, wait, hurry up, wait, hurry up, wait. Uh, next up is toast. And then we're gonna open the dance floor up and get this party started. The bride and groom quote unquote said, their friends and family are crazy partiers. We'll see. Alrighty guys, that is a wrap on this wedding gig log out at Friends Farm. Uh, somewhat of dancing, somewhat not of dancing. A lot of people were hanging out at the bar, drinking down there, including the bride and groom, which is always challenging. But I never hide anything from you guys. This is just one of those events. But anyways, bride and groom happy. I'm tearing down right now. And uh, just some quick thoughts real quick. The Avante A15s, those things bump. Those things bump. I was literally shocked at how loud they were getting without peaking. Those things are solid, way better than my Eons. I will straight up say that on, on here right now. Those things sound a thousand times better than what my Eons used to sound like. Maybe not a thousand times, but those things are kicking and those things are solid. Especially for not having a sub here, those things were kicking some bass. But anyways, I'm tearing down. Uh, trying to get out of here. Um, this shouldn't take me long at all. Very simple setup. The element up lights make things really easy to tear down all that fun stuff. Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. Leave down in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this wedding. And like always guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.